This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by PorcupineRealEstate.com All right, so, mindful of Sun Tzu's admonition, quote, we may retreat and be safe from pursuit if our movements are more rapid than those of the enemy, unquote. I go ahead and leave the event around this point. I have already talked to all the big wigs. I don't have a lot of additional questions for most of the people who are in the room. I have just been warned or threatened not sure which, the benefits are outweighed by the risks. And as I'm leaving the school, who should drive up but the Bedford police? So, did I mention that the Bedford Republicans are being schizophrenic? Oh well, whatever they are, whatever they're doing, it's all on tape, you make up your own mind. Oh, and I guess I also have to consider the factor of uh, wanting to make sure I preserved all this video before I started interacting with police. I mean, because this video is damning. If they were to actually have tried to get sick, if they were sicking the police on me after inviting me in uh, or something along those lines, that would be a huge problem. Uh, for them, it would look like entrapment or something like that. I doubt that's what happened. What normally happens when you have a group and you know different people in the group treat you differently, it's just because each person in the group is a little bit different. It's not usually a conspiracy within one person. Oh, can there be such a thing as a conspiracy within one person? But anyway, my instinct would be that probably Senator Sanborn was genuine, uh, but he was probably also uncertain as to what he should do, and that's why it took them so why it took him so long to decide that I should be coming back in. I mean, it looked like he was initially consulting with his wife, or she was asking him something. I mean, she went over to him after she confronted me, and as soon as she went to him, she came back to me and kicked me out. So it would seem like she was conferring with him to get advice on what to do, and I got the impression at the time that he had advised her to kick me out. Yeah, but what likely, you know, maybe over the next 15, 20 minutes, a light bulb went off and they realized that they can't kick me out or that, I don't know what, they they learned something or realized something that they hadn't realized before. So anyway, maybe I'll have a chance to ambush interview Senator Sanborn about this at some other point in time. I did not feel sufficiently safe at this location, however, with the, uh, you know, comment about the police coming, uh, to remain, if there was no clear benefit in remaining. So, uh, and I should clarify, I don't think of the Bedford GOP as my enemy. I used Sun Tzu quote there because I have, I can't change the quote, but there are surely people in that room who might qualify as enemies. And it's always going to be hard to know which are which because <laughs> they're politicians and some of them will lie to you. So, Ridley out. Could be the one key and- You're moving to New Hampshire, right? Well, then you'll want a free state realtor who's been here fighting for your freedom for years. Privacy, low taxes, <laughs> shooting and growing food on property where you want to be left alone. The folks at PorcupineRealEstate.com understand these needs. They have a good feel for urban New Hampshire, too. Check them out. PorcupineRealEstate.com